Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about arrays in PHP. Now, an array is basically a container or it's a structure where we can store multiple pieces of information. So a lot of times in PHP, we're going to be dealing with all types of data. And one way that we can manage and maintain and keep track of that data is by using something called a variable. And throughout this course, we've been using variables. I've kind of, you know, showed you guys how they work. And a variable is great because it can store one single value. So it's a container where I can store a single data value. But a lot of times in PHP, we're not just going to want to be able to store one value. We're going to be able, want to be able to store large groups of values. So a lot of times an array is all that we need, right? A lot of times we only need to be able to store one value. But if you have like a large list of information or, you know, you need a container where you can store large amounts of information, that's where an array comes in. An array is actually very similar to a variable, but Unlike a variable, an array can store more than one piece of information inside of it. So an array could have 10 or 20 or 100 or 1,000 or even a million values, a million pieces of information inside of it. So that's why arrays are really useful. And there's a lot of situations where you're going to want to be able to store and keep track of large amounts of information, and you can use arrays to do that. So I'm going to show you guys how we can create an array, how we can use it, and we'll sort of look at the basics. So down here in my PHP tags, I want to create an array. And we actually create an array very similar to the way that we create a normal variable. I'm just going to make a dollar sign and we're going to give this a name. So we want to give it a descriptive name and the name will basically tell us like what type of information is stored inside of this array. So I'm going to make a, an array that's going to store a bunch of like names. So we'll just call it friends. So maybe this could store like a list of a bunch of my friends. So I can say dollar sign friends is equal to, and now I want to type in array and I'm going to make an open and close parentheses. And then as always, we'll end it off with a semicolon. Now inside of these open and close parentheses, I can actually store multiple pieces of information inside of this array. So in our case, we're going to store, like I said, a list of friends names. So I could put like Kevin, Karen, Oscar, and then why don't we do one more Jim. So inside of this array, I've basically typed out all of these different values. And you'll notice that I separated each one of these values with a comma. So over here, I basically am just listing out all of these different names. And these are all now elements inside of the friends array. So I would say that this over here is an element inside the friends array. This is an element in the friends array. This is an element. These are all elements inside of this one structure, inside of this one container. So unlike a variable where I can only store one string in this array, I can store multiple strings side by side just like that. And that's why these arrays are useful. So in addition to just storing a string inside of here, I mean, I could store any type of data that I want. So maybe in here, I also wanted to throw in like a number. Um, I could throw in like a Boolean value. Um, really, you can put any type of information that you want inside of these arrays. It's not going to matter. So now that we've actually created this array and we're storing all of this information, the question becomes, how do we access that information, right? The information is no good if we can't access it, right? So this container is actually storing all these pieces of information and I'm going to show you guys how we can access them. So over here, I'm actually just going to echo out something. So I'm just going to say echo and I'm going to show you guys how we can access individual elements inside of this array. Now, one thing I could do is I could just echo out friends just like this. And you'll see over here on my browser, when I refresh the page, it's just printing out array. So it's basically just telling us like, Hey, this is an array. There's a bunch of stuff in here, but if I wanted to access an individual element, for example, let's say I wanted to access the first element inside of the array, this Kevin value. After I type out the name of the variable, I can make an open and closed square bracket. And inside of this open and closed square bracket, I want to put in the index of the element that I want to access. So all of the elements inside of this array are assigned index positions. And so all I have to do in order to access the specific element is put its index inside of these square brackets. So if I want to access this first element here, I'm going to put a zero inside of here because the first element in the array is at index position zero. So now when I run my program over here, you'll see that we're printing out Kevin. So we're printing out that first name inside of the array. If I wanted to print out the second element, I could just put a one here and this will print out the second one. So we should print out Karen. 
And if I wanted to print out Oscar over here, I could put a two in here and this will print out Oscar. So if you haven't caught on, when we're giving index positions to these array elements, we start at zero. So we would say that the first element in the array, this Kevin, is actually at index position zero. And then over here, we would say that the second element in the array, Karen, is at index position one and so forth. So we're gonna start zero, one, this is gonna be two, this is gonna be three. And this is very important. So this is how we're going to index these arrays. And if you're familiar with strings in PHP, this is actually the same way that we index strings. So we start with zero. So that's why I have to use these numbers down here. And that's really how we can access and work with a specific element in the array. Another thing I could do is I could modify one of the elements in the array. So for example, over here, let's say we wanted to modify this element right here where it says Karen. All I have to do is just say friends and I can make an open and close square bracket. And I wanna put the index of the element that I wanna modify. So Karen is at index position zero, one. So I'm gonna put a one over here and I could just give this a new value. So I could call this Dwight, for example. And now when I go down here and I print out friends one, the value will have updated. So now this should give us Dwight instead of giving us Karen. And it's also important to note that we can store different data types in these arrays alongside each other. So I could put like a 400 here and this is a number, it's not a string. And you'll see that this is still gonna work. So I'm able to print out 400. All right, so this is really the basics of using arrays in PHP. It's essentially just a structure where we can store multiple pieces of information. Now, another thing that I can do is I could also add information onto this array. So you'll notice over here, we have four elements in this array and it's at index position zero, one, two, three. So there's no array element at index position four, but I could actually add an array element in if I wanted to. So I could come over here and I could say like friends four and I could add in another friend. So now I could name this friend like Angela. And down here I could print out friends four and this is gonna give us Angela. So essentially what I did was I added an extra friend onto the end of that list. And you can do stuff like that. I mean, I could also make this like a 10 and it would be the same thing. So I could add an element at index position 10 in this array and it's gonna be no problem. It's gonna be able to handle that just fine. Now I wanna show you guys one more thing we can do which is actually pretty useful with these arrays is you can figure out how many elements are inside of the array. So I'm actually just gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna come down here and I'm just gonna print out count like this and then I'm gonna surround the array with open and closed parentheses. So I'm saying count and then inside of these parentheses friends and this is gonna tell me how many elements are inside of this array. So you'll see over here we're getting four. And if I wanted, like I said, I could add another element. So I could say like friends four is equal to Mike, and now we should get five here instead of four because I added another element. And that's kind of the basics of working with arrays. Arrays are extremely useful and there's gonna be tons of situations where you wanna use them. So, so you wanna make sure that you have a pretty solid understanding of these going forward. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.